In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add an auto roof to your project. Live Interior 3D allows you to add a roof to your home. Note that you should do this only after creating all of the walls, ceilings, floors, and stories you need since changing the exterior walls will in turn change the shape of your roof. Let's start by opening the Building Properties tab of the inspector. Here we have the tools for adding and removing stories and controlling their properties. To the right of the Story tools is the tool that adds an auto roof. There are basically two different ways to add one. Above the current story or on the current story. The Add Auto Roof on the current story is rarely used, mainly for convenience purposes or to add a roof to the ground floor without creating a basement. So let's begin creating our roof. The Roof Assistant that appears lets you choose a roof and soffit type, as well as change the roof orientation. The view to the right shows the roof on your project. Any changes you make take place there in real time. We'll choose the hip roof and click OK. As you can see, the roof has been added to the house. Please note that to later change the roof type, you must delete the current roof using the Remove Auto Roof Above Current Story menu item and add a new one. Now let's talk a bit about the behavior of roofs. Roofs basically behave just like walls. You can add windows or doors, change the material, etc. There are over 200 roofing materials that you can find in the Roofing category in the Materials tab of the inspector. You can apply them by dragging and dropping them to each segment of the roof. And if necessary, you can also use the Texture Transform options. In addition, objects can be added to roofs. This comes in handy if, for example, you need to create a skylight. To do this, you can just drag and drop any window onto a segment of the roof and position it. Well, that's it for now. The next tutorial gets more in-depth about roofs and customizing them.